Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, back with another black and white Pokemon upgrade. Today, we're going to be discussing Breloom, so let's get started. So first off, as some of you probably know already, Breloom was always a very threatening Pokemon previously in the OU tier, due to the fact that it was one of the few Pokemon that carried the very deadly move known as Spore, which has 100% accuracy and can inflict sleep upon your opponent. Now in this generation, uh, sleep has new mechanics in which the counter for how many turns you are asleep resets every time you switch out, which could potentially make Breloom a extremely, extremely deadly Pokemon this generation, just due to the fact that one of its most popular moves to use is now that much better. However, aside from that, it took on a role of generally sub-punching your opponent and using one of its abilities, known as Poison Heal, to keep its HP up very high and also make sure that it could never be inflicted with like another status, since they generally held a Toxic Orb. Now for those of you that don't know, Poison Heal is an ability that allows you to heal your HP whenever you're, whenever you're poisoned, and the amount of HP that is healed up every time um, at the end of every turn when Poison Heal activates is actually twice the amount of leftovers. So it's an amazing ability to have and definitely something that Breloom benefited from greatly previously. But in the Dream World this generation, it gets probably one of the most useful abilities for it known as Technician. And now for those of you that might be unfamiliar with this ability, it is an ability that makes it so that any move that has 60 base power or less is doubled in its base power. So moves with 60 base power, like something along the lines of Swift or Feint Attack or something like that, will actually have 90 base power if you're using Technician as your ability due to the fact that it um, multiplies it by 1.5. I just said double. I'm sorry about that. It's 1.5. So basically, this is amazing for Balloom, mainly due to the fact that it has access to the priority move known as Mach Punch, which also gets stabbed due to its fighting typing. So this essentially makes Breloom an incredibly deadly threat this generation as one of the most powerful priority users in the game. Now, this makes it also on par essentially with Scissor, which was known primarily for using its priority bullet punch, which also was technician boosted. However, fighting is a significantly better attacking type than steel, so this makes Breloom a very effective revenge killer and also a very effective Pokemon at just dealing out loads of damage to your opponent. And with a 130 base physical attack, you know that you're going to be doing a lot of damage with all the moves that you could potentially use that will be technician boosted. But with that, let's take a look at a set that Breloom can effectively run this generation and one that can be very deadly to your opponents. So in this set, we're going to be giving Balloom an adamant nature to increase its physical attack but lower its special attack, and then we are going to be using the ability Technician, since that is its amazing upgrade that it gets this generation. As for the EVs, we're going to put 252 into HP to give you your max HP, 252 into your physical attack to give you your max physical attack, and then 4 for speed to give you one more point into that. Now generally, Balloom's run max speed and max attack, However, due to the fact that we are using priority um, and we want that priority move to be boosted as high as possible, we're actually going to be going with an Adam of Nature and then adding the HP EVs to allow you to have a little bit more bulk and be able to take hits better than you normally would be able to. Now, I know there is probably some magical EV spread that you could put into the defenses along with the HP to give you the best coverage all around in the defenses. However, that would take a very long time for me to figure out, so I'm just giving you the bare minimum here. However, with the item, we're going to be using either a Life Orb to allow you to do more damage with your moves, or use Leftovers to allow you to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn, which is very great on the set due to the fact that we aren't using Poison Heal, so that HP that would be recovered normally by a standard Poison Heal Balloon set is not going to be around, so therefore Leftovers is somewhat of an acceptable alternate. Now as for the moves, the first one we're going to be making use of is Spore, which is pretty much the only reason you would begin to use Breloom to begin with, 
due to the fact that it, as I said before, has 100% accuracy and will inflict sleep upon your opponent. Now after this occurs, you could either go right into attacking with your two main attack moves in the set, which are Bullet Seed and Mock Punch. Now Bullet Seed is kind of a weird move to use on the set due to the fact that it is a multi-attacking move and generally those kinds of moves are normally reserved for Pokemon that have tech or skill link as their ability. However, Bullet Seed will get Stab and it has 25 base power and it's a physical move just to point that out there. And with Technician it'll be boosted in its power and if it hits as much as it can like five times it'll do a ridiculous amount of damage to anything unless of course it resists it but it would actually I believe do more damage than seed bomb with three hits from bullet seed that are technician boosted so that is ridiculously awesome and definitely allows Berloom to do more damage with its stab grass moves that it previously was unable to and for the next move we are going to obviously be using mock punch since that is the reason why this ability technician is so great on Breloom because a priority mock punch with stab and technician will allow you to just rip through anything that doesn't resist it. Now as for your last attacking move you have two options one of them being a boosting move actually which would be swords dance in this case which is amazing because at plus two and with max attack and all the other things that I said before your attack moves will be doing a ridiculous amount of damage and essentially it makes Berloom equal to Scissor due to the fact that they both can set up a Swords Dance and then use a priority stab attacking move. And in this case it's Mach Punch as I've said already. So this is really great for Berloom and something that will allow it to increase its attack further. However on the other hand you could go with another attacking move known as Stone Edge which will give it better type coverage. It won't be Technician Boosted or Stab. However, it does have great base power and will allow you to have coverage against flying types which resist both the Bullet Seed and Mach Punch. Also, you could go with Substitute, which is pretty standard on Reloom, but we're going to be trying to make it a very threatening and powerful attacker, so going with a attack boosting move or, an, or another powerful attack move is, in my opinion, a better option for a Technician set like this. However, you're welcome to use whatever you want. But as you can see, the Technician ability definitely gives Breloom amazing revenge killing power and will make it a very, very deadly threat this generation. But that is it for this video guys, so take care and goodbye.